talk. Okay, Apparently, brother. I- You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, night folks. Kicking off uh, May. Don't take anything personally. Become immune to poison. The whole world can gossip about you. If you don't take it personally, you are immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of the second agreement. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 480. You get the NASDAQ off 38. S&P's off 40. Gold contract down a buck 30. Trade now at 1836 an ounce. You get silver up 20 cents, $27.68 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 42 cents, $65.34 a barrel notes and bonds. 10 year note down five ticks, 132.14. 30 year at, down 19 at 156.30 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 51 ticks, trading 90.159. The euro is at 121, the yen is at 108, and the British pound is at 141 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get the NASDAQ, you get the S&P, and the Dow doing a little catch up with the NASDAQ here. So it's going to get really intriguing watching this shake out, folks, because what we have is this. So if we take a look at the SPY, you're going to see the SPY right now is at 414. Your swing points down here that we're dealing with with 410 as well as 411. You came into 410, you rejected it, but guess what? Bottom line is that you're going to have another 100 million shares here. That means that you're slamming into the lows. Expanded volume, that's saying lower prices are going to keep coming at us. Dow Industrials. We're going to take a look at the Dow Industrials, what you have inside the Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials came off a tie. And the Dow, <laughs> this, is a, <laughs> this is not a good-looking uh, chart uh, after making uh, all-time highs, I can tell you that. Uh, bottom line is that you gave it up on Friday. We, we got all the way up to uh, 34,811. Uh, it seems like, no, yeah, I think it was 35,000. Yeah, 35,091. Then gave it up in spades, and then you gap down. You never like to see that, folks. The bottom line is that it's not, it's not an island top, but when you gap down like that, it's a problem. If we go take a look at the volume, let's go look at this volume right now. No, ah, that's not bad. Okay, so uh, 675. That's not that bad, actually. So uh, it doesn't look to me like you're going to have volume off the high. And not having volume off the high is saying that it's going to be a normal correction, which is, which is pretty cool. NDX 100, the three Qs. Well, actually, let's go look at the SMHs first, because the SMHs are going to give you an idea of where these three Qs want to go. What we have with the SMHs is this. SMHs, the last swing low that we had out here inside the SMHs was uh, three, uh, 224.41. You came down there with 6.7 million. Uh, bottom line, we get 5.8 million today. We didn't hit that price. We'll see what kind of volume we get. SMHs are setting up just as the Qs are setting up. And what that is, is this, folks, is that you can say that, yeah, the Qs in general get a turnaround Tuesday, okay? Because the bottom line is that, you know, compared to being at 319, you're at 324. That being said, guess what? You're still at lower price. You have volume behind the move. This is just enough to get the bears nervous, to get the bulls excited. Bottom line, my take here, is that you're still going to go lower, that this is, this is, uh, this is a catch-up. That's, that's what's going on here. And if we take a look at the SMHs, um, I suspect the SMHs are going to be talking to us, meaning uh, that you're at this 332 area and the, the volume's just too high. And uh, bottom line is that that's going to keep the NDX100 into lower price. Now, let's get over to the three Qs. We take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs have been leading us lower in a monster way. What we have with the three Qs out here is that we hit um, 319 today, a rejected lower price. Volume, however, way too high, way too high. Bottom line, uh, we're at 60 million right now. Uh, we did, uh, 
Yeah, look, we did 60 million on Friday. This thing's going to come in about 75 million. 75 million is saying, guess what? You can open up lower once again tomorrow. The, the deviance is there. Cool deviance. Gold, gold contract. You talk about, we have volatility everywhere in the marketplace, folks, no doubt. Gold came down to 1817 and just said, see ya, don't want to be ya. We hit 1817, took off like a rocket ship, 1836. Bottom line, gold is looking to go to 1881. Uh, we take a look at this baby, what you're going to see, it was a fast move lower. Guess what? Bottom line, no more sellers. You came back to the breakout area that was established last Thursday. That's what we did. And you came back with tremendously lighter volume. So what happens many times there is that whoever was buying that, well, actually, the, the force that was coming into that breakout area, most times that's going to be the same buyer, huge institution that's coming into the marketplace. And bottom line, they're bought again right at that level. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note, note and bond market. And what you're going to see here in the note and bond market is that you got the lower price. You have a huge contraction of volume. We have 1.3 million contracts on the 10-year. Uh, bottom line is that we hit highs last Thursday with uh, 2.8 million. Bottom line, you're going to go back topside. Uh, there's not enough sellers inside the bond market. That's, that's the real bottom line. And good old King Dollar. So we, we take a look at uh, King Dollar out here. King Dollar came down with conviction last week. Uh, we're building calls right now to get into the 89 area. Uh, you know, last Friday was a monster day on King Dollar. Almost came down a full penny, came down 800 ticks. Conviction behind the move. We're building calls right now to go uh, break into this 89 area. And, you know, we'll see how this baby shakes out. The bottom line is the way that this is actually set up, it looks to me like you're gonna actually blow away the 89 area. So what happens is this. On King Dollar, folks, okay, let's say that we go sideways for three or four days. If that's what we do, that's building cause for the downside, you will see King Dollar not only go down, it will come down with conviction, I mean, in a monster way. Dow, Dow Industrials down 524, NASDAQ off 37, S&P's off 44. And uh, bottom line, folks, is that we basically are going lower. And uh, folks haven't seen a market that uh, gets highly volatile, um, looks like it can come back, and all that is, that's the counter trend bounce, folks, before the selling just accelerates again. Stay